So what I love about IEEE is that it really allows the convening of people of like minds over interesting domains to come together. I think I've been able to successfully use IEEE USA to position and leverage myself to be in the cutting edge in my industry. I remember growing up, I used to always like to be creative and I wasn't necessarily the best painter or the best person at drawing, but I loved art because I was creating something. And engineering really gave me that toolbox of knowledge to solve bigger and more exciting problems. I've traveled all over getting to know friends at IEEE. We've got a, a great network. Sometimes when we take apart a new gizmo, we don't understand something or we need to find an expert on acoustics or signal engineering or antenna design. And I've got a, a group of friends that I've met through the years of IEEE conferences, and it's really fantastic to be able to call up the right expert at the right moment. Without IEEE, um, I don't think I would have the network that I have. What IEEE enables is this cross-pollinization of generations of roboticists, those that are older to those that are younger. One of the other things that I get really excited about outside of the work is sharing my knowledge and my excitement with other people. One of the ways that volunteering has really helped me to give back was to connect with people who are where I was when I started my career. I really think paying it forward and being able to help another person achieve their dreams in engineering is something that really is fulfilling for me to do. Students and the younger generation, they need to see themselves as the future. So as engineers, we need to show them that this is possible, that they too can be engineers. I remember handing a kid an iPod and saying, hey, do you want to take this apart? And he looked at me like I was crazy. And I said, no, it's okay, you can take it apart. And his eyes lit up, he was so excited because every single adult his entire life has been telling him, don't take that apart. And I was the first one that gave him permission. And he sat there for an hour taking this iPod apart and putting it back together. That's how we're going to get the next generation of innovation that we need. That's how we're going to build a sustainable electronics industry. It starts, it starts with the kids and we have to get them excited about tinkering. I've been fortunate enough to volunteer with IEEE and IEEE USA enabling me to attend conferences where the best part about it is I get to meet people inside and outside of what I do. Meet with them, network with them, understand some of their challenges and think about ideas that are completely outside of the box and I get to share and disseminate that information and really make a contribution to my career. IEEE USA has given me a competitive edge because of their support system. It is so much easier doing something and being out of your comfort zone when you have someone there saying, you got this. We need more engineers in the world. Engineers make the world better. They are designing the systems that keep the world working. Now, the reason why I keep on renewing my membership with IEEE today is I feel a sense of belonging within IEEE. This isn't just an organization I'm a part of. This is a family. I've got buddies that I've met at IEEE conferences that will be lifelong friends. We need more engineers, and IEEE is leading the way to make that happen. I want everyone to think like an engineer and be an engineer because engineers, we solve problems and we make the world a better place. IEEE is all about a sense of community. And having an organization like IEEE USA being there, cheering me on, supporting me, has really made me want to be the best engineer I could be. IEEE USA is my competitive edge. Uh, 1972-1989. Initially developed from 1972 to 1989, the gravitational wave antenna enabled detection of ripples in space-time propagating at the speed of light as predicted by Albert Einstein's 1916 theory of general relativity. Construction of the Virgo Gravitational Wave Observatory commenced in 1997. In 2017, Virgo and two antennas located in the USA launched the era of multi-messenger astronomy with the coordinated detection of gravitational waves from a binary neutron star merger. February 2021. 10. Let's wait, let's wait. Come in, Let's 
Non ci sono andato a mezza gamba. Raffaele anche tu sì. allora, sì. e Francesco non vedo le non ho le <ride> cominciamo Come, come. Yeah. Yeah. Now? So we take this plate uh, as a commitment to continue pursuing this extraordinary adventure of science and knowledge and to achieve new milestones in the very next future. Thank you, everybody. Ten, nine, nine. eight, seven, six, six five. Four. Four, three, two, one, and zero. Il nome dei buchi neri, eh, la coperta della targa era nera. Era nera, <laughs> sì, sì. Grazie tutti di essere qui con noi è veramente un grande onore veramente un grande onore di aver fatto il viaggio a questi tempi difficili